All right. Hey, we're recording. Hey, uh, welcome. My name is Mike Sewell. I'm the executive director of Asheville on Bikes. And we thought, uh, given the restriction, restri the COVID-19 uh, restrictions, we would try a, a different format uh, to reach out and embrace the community and uh, host a series of interviews with people who are uh, associated with Asheville on Bikes or Asheville cycling scene. And um, my first guest is a, a longtime uh, AO beer, uh, Jen Hovermail, uh, who is currently serves on our events committee um, as our uh, secretary. Is that correct, Jen? That's correct. That's uh, correct, Mike. Thank you. Good. All right. We're off to a good start. I'm starting off correct. Who doesn't like that? <laughs> Um, so just so that uh, people can get, you know, get a sense of your affiliation, and I was wondering, um, what, how were you first introduced to uh, Asheville on Bikes? What was your first um, AOB experience? So I actually, funny story, because I actually had to sit down and really think about it um, with Kyle, my husband. So he and I disagree on the memory, but I'm going with Pumpkin Peddler um, when... Maddie was an infant, so that would be nine years ago. Okay. Yeah. With the whole trailer, the whole kitten caboodle, bike trailer, and that's back when you went up uh, Tunnel Road and up the huge... A bow catcher, up to windswept. That's oh, right. Oh, wow. That's, so that's old, old school. Uh, old school. Old school. Right. And, and I remember old... huffing and puffing with that trailer. <laughs> <laughs> you had Maddie with you? Yeah, yeah, Maddie was a, a few months old. Okay, and it, so that was still when it was, it was an evening ride, I believe then. Was it? It was. Right. Yeah, it was. Wow. That's cool. And then so you had joined uh, the events committee in 2018. That's right. Right? Yep. Uh, and so um, what... Why were you compelled to sort of step up your investment in Asheville on Bikes, moving from just like a participant nine years ago, and you've been, I know, affiliated with all of our, a lot of our events and programs since, uh, but then in 2018, you stepped up to uh, join Asheville on Bikes in the event committee uh, with Bike Love, and what was the compelling reason? Why did you say like, okay, I'm now I'm going to like roll up my sleeves and uh, get involved in this organization? Again. Well, uh, you know, Abby Walker is very compelling. You're very compelling. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, you, you at the time, I mean, you, you at, there was need for help for bike love. And I said, why not? I had some downtime and then, you know, it was a good time. And I feel like I need to give back to the to Asheville on bikes and to the community, but especially Asheville on bikes because I've done so much with you guys through the years and it's fun. And especially I have to say the transition really for me of feeling more passionate about safety and bikes is, you know, having two kids on the road and wanting to feel like I can safely ride them to school, safely ride them to playgrounds without getting run over on Haywood. So I would say that's really where more of my passion came um, into play. All right, right on. Your kids. Yeah. Kids, keeping it right. safe. This is your way of creating a better world for the next generation. Right. Sure. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> sure, sure. So um, you, yeah. you know, we sort of developed this uh, interview to talk about like your experience um, with uh, as a cargo bike owner. Yes. And so what I was trying to think, when did you, you bought my old, my first generation, uh, Yuba Spicy Curry electrical assist cargo bike. When did you um, acquire the bike? When did you buy that? Was that in the fall or was it in the spring or the summer? I couldn't quite remember when that happened. You know, I was trying to think back when it happened too, but I think it's been about a year, right? I don't have the deed of sale. I, I think it's been about a year, but I have to tell you that. And I say it every time I write it, which is really every other day now. That was the best investment. Seriously. Really? What, what an incredible investment. Especially during this crazy time right now where 
everyone's kind of climbing the walls and you know like let's be real about it and i could just say hey let's jump on the bike and we go for a two-hour cruise around town it's great it's really it's an awesome investment and i know you were kind of asking me how it's changed were you asking me how it's changed um my transportation yes yeah okay so honestly you know what it's done it's made mundane things fun especially with kids that's what it's done it's like it's an excuse to get out of the house to get some fresh air to move our bodies and we'll run up to ingles we'll run up you name it we'll go up to the hop it's made us like visit more parks around town because we can you know i don't get all the whining i don't want to bike that far it's like well hop on the e-bike so yeah it's it's just made like kind of mundane things in a car way more fun right mm -hmm. and, and, and i'm assuming you you find yourself driving less and, and, and cargo biking and cargo biking uh more Far and, less. Would you yeah. say that, like, what's your, like, radius? What's your, like, what are your average trips? Like, three to five miles? It's uh, that. It's like a three-mile radius. And before, when I'd have to get in my car every day to take the kids up to school, which is Francine Delaney, yeah. or to Ingalls, or to the post office, yeah, that's my usual route. Um, right. Like, hop, you know, or all the restaurants on Haywood. You know, I don't even get in the car anymore. And it's about half the time it takes versus sitting in traffic on Haywood and, you know, raising your blood pressure. You just, you get on the bike. It's awesome. There you go. Raise your heart rate instead of your blood pressure. That's right. <laughs> you should make a bumper sticker. No. <laughs> <laughs> We're on to something. So uh, do, you, do you remember like what drew you to uh, the, the cargo bike? Like what, you know, why I know exactly what drew me to it. You, okay, great. I was sitting at, at your house at a committee's meeting and we watched that movie that I believe, was it based in Oregon? Motherload. Mother the cargo Load. bike, the cargo bike. Oh, that's yes. great. Okay, I never knew that. Right. We were and it completely sold me. Completely sold me. I left that meeting thinking, I'm talking to Mike tomorrow about if he's selling that bike and if he's not selling it, I'll buy another one. <laughs> right on. Okay. And, and we only watched the clip. We only watched the trailer and that was enough. Right. And uh, wow. it was that one specific mom saying it makes mundane things fun. And I was like, boom, I'm That's in. It. That's it. I yeah. And so, no. you know, one thing about that all like uh, bike owners do eventually after they buy a bicycle or acquire a bicycle is that they tend to uh, customize it. Uh, to make it their own. Um, and I was wondering, like, uh, what what have you added or subtracted from the bicycle to uh, make it yours and, 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 and make it work for you and your family? Yeah. Well, what I've added is I put on a basket cover, basically because we go, I'll go and get $100 worth of groceries at Ingalls. And the other day, like a whole baguette came flying out onto <laughs> Haywood. <laughs> that was awesome. So the, the cover, the basket cover is awesome. Of course, I, you know, pimped it out with a bunch of lights and sparkles and stickers and all sorts of stuff. Um, but it is, it is perfect with the two kids as far as um, the little basket around them. That's good. That'll be good for like another year. Oh, we'll right on. So you'd like to transfer the, the, the monkey bars. The, the right, the monkey bar. goes around. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And even my kids are six and nine, and it fits them perfectly. They have plenty of room. It's great. Just six and nine. Okay. Easy, easy enough to carry around. No problems climbing up Klingman or anything like that. No problems. Is there anything? You charge your battery. <laughs> charge your battery, right? That's it. Right. That's, yeah. Is there anything that you that you don't like about the bike, or like a, something that you would like to see uh, innovated to improve it? What would improve your experience? Honestly, no. I think the bike's perfect. Honestly, really? it's perfect. It's great. It took me a minute to figure out. You know, it's kind of weird because the basket doesn't the basket stay. It doesn't move, so you have to get used to 
how that feels, but no, fake is perfect. It wouldn't change a thing. All right. Well, yeah. hey. <laughs> uh, and Yuba is not paying us to have. <laughs> no, that's right. We're not sponsored by Yuba, I promise. <laughs> uh, we do it. Um, and then I guess like the, you know, the last question would be like, uh, what would you say? There you go. Uh, now it's no problem. It's, it's how it is now. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> that, work, that work home life is, <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's not an anomaly. Doesn't get more real than that. <laughs> that's it. We're keeping it real. Um, what would you say to someone who was like on the fence uh, about getting a U, uh, or not a Yuba, but a, you know, going the E cargo bike? Uh, oh yeah. Hmm. I would say that it it is so much fun. Well, my only experience has been with kids. You know, there's plenty of people that probably are interested in an e bike without kids. It just makes transportation so much more fun, and it's just. And you're getting fresh air and it's awesome. And you're also, you know, you can think about all the environmental um, causes that are helping, but it's also just a huge time saver. You're not sitting in traffic the same way. It's just more fun. That's what right. I would say. Yeah, yeah. I want to have more fun on your day to day, get an e-bike. There you go. All yeah. right. All right. Well, Jen, thank you very much. I understand you have a uh, wine with women events to get to, and I don't want to keep you from, uh, from that. Um, I was a little hurt. I wasn't invited, but that's all right. Oh, We've had our time. Next time. Next time. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to Thanks just for the interview. thank you. And I want to put a big shout out to all of our sponsors who uh, help uh, Asheville on bikes roll. Uh, please go out and support those businesses. A lot of them uh, are an essential business and still working. So uh, get out there and uh, support the businesses who support rolling active transportation forward right. in Asheville. Jen, thank you so thank much you so for your time. Yes, thank you. Have a wonderful night. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.